iPhone 7 Taptic Engine Replacement Guide. The tools we're going to need are a proprietary Pentalope screwdriver, a Phillips head double zero or a triple zero screwdriver, a Y tip double or triple zero screwdriver, a suction cup for pulling the screen apart, as well as a plastic pick for prying the screen apart. A metallic prying tool for removing the adhesive that waterproofs the phone around the contour of the screen. And a plastic spudger for pulling the connections apart. Make sure to turn off the iPhone before we begin. Now place the suction cup right above the home button. The screen will need to be slid down first and then flipped open like a book. We'll close it like a book and slide it back in when we're done. Locate the two pentalope screws near the charging port that are holding the LCD to the phone chassis and go ahead and remove the two screws. Now insert your index finger into the suction cup and pinch the sides of your phone with your middle finger and your thumb. Then gently tug on your index finger. This will create a small crack. Now a little to the left of the home button, go ahead and slide in the plastic pick and start prying it apart. You might have some adhesive, waterproof adhesive that makes it difficult to separate, go ahead and use the uh, metallic prying tool to separate the adhesive. In combination with the plastic tool, go ahead and start prying the LCD away from the phone. Once you get it going, go ahead and slide it down first and then open it up just like a book and that's it we're in the taptic engine is located right below the battery and it's clearly labeled with a sticker let's first remove the taptic engine connection cover remove the screws first you can now lift up the cover this will expose the taptic engine ribbon cable the plastic prying tool go ahead get underneath and push it out of its socket now it's disconnected let's go ahead and remove the three Phillips head screws that are securing the taptic engine in place we can now gently lift up the taptic engine here's what it looks like up close reassembly place the taptic engine into its socket in the following orientation go ahead and secure it with the three Phillips head screws one on the right and two on the left side when the screws are secure go ahead and reconnect the ribbon cable Make sure it's firmly clicked in. Now go ahead and place the ribbon cable cover over it. Make sure it's nice and uh, tight in its socket and reconnect the two Phillips head screws to resecure it. Okay, we're now ready to clamp up the phone. Go ahead and Fold it and begin by tucking in the top latches in first. Once those are locked in, we can go ahead and go gently around the contour of the phone, pushing it in and finishing up the clamp. If you feel any resistance, make sure to reseat the screen. Now go around the contour, make sure that it's a nice and solid lock and there are no gaps in between. 
now go ahead and place the two pentalobe screws into their sockets and just place them in first align them and then secure them with the pentalobe screwdriver with the pentalobe screw secure go ahead and power on and test the foam This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe and check out more awesome videos at AppleDollars.com.